Well, hello there, and good evening, uh, everybody, at uh, YouTube. I'm uh, William Brantley, uh, reporting from uh, South Jackson, Tennessee, and uh, ready to share with you today's uh, climate summary and give you a forecast for the next few days uh, momentarily. Today turned out to be a very beautiful day, a little bit on the cloudy side, we did get a little bit of sunshine from time to time, but not a lot. Uh, we're going to be cloudy skies for the most part for the remainder of tonight. And there might even be a thunderstorm nearby around 11 o'clock uh, p.m. to midnight time frame. But the best chances for showers and thunderstorms is around 1 a.m. or so. And then uh, thunderstorms will probably kick in tomorrow around 10 a.m. and last to around 6 or 7 p.m. and uh, be gone by around 10 or 11 p.m. tomorrow night. It kind of give you a little forecast up front there. <laughs> I'll go into more details on that uh, momentarily. Uh, as far as the climate data today goes, as of 5 p.m. here in the Bemis area, the skies was uh, cloudy, and the temperature was 73 degrees at 5 p.m. As of 5.52 p.m., it's still 73 degrees outside right now. Uh, at 5 p.m., the dew point was 65 degrees. The humidity was at 76%. We had south winds of 6 miles per hour, and the barometric pressure was 29.96 inches of mercury. Today's low temperature in Bemis was 65 degrees. Today's high was 77 degrees. Yeah, the high was below 80 today. <laughs> Excuse me, how about that? Uh, high again was... <coughs> Uh, sorry about that. The uh, high today again was 77 degrees. And uh, my rain gauge uh, showed three hundredths of an inch of rainfall in it uh, since midnight. So apparently that fell sometime during the midnight and 1 a.m. hour the last night, uh, early this morning. The lowest, uh, and that uh, puts me up to... 18 hundredths of an inch for the month and uh, 28.63 uh, for the year on precipitation. The lowest humidity today was 69% at 4 p.m. while the highest was 100% at 2 and 3 a.m. this morning. Today's highest wind gust was 17 miles per hour out of the southwest at uh, 5.07 a.m. this morning at the Jackson, Tennessee airport. Today's records for May the 3rd, hottest high would be 90 degrees, and that happened in 1949 and 1953. And the coolest high would be 56 uh, in 2002, while the warmest low would be 67 degrees in uh, 2018, just one year ago today. And the coldest low would be 35 degrees, and that occurred in 2002. Today's rainfall record would be 3.23 inches, and that fell in 1979. Alrighty, it's time now to look at a few graphs, including uh, the radar and the forecast maps and the satellite picture and all that uh, good information. We do have some precipitation nearby, but it's uh, kind of fizzling out uh, southeast of Jackson this evening. It's over near the Clifton, Tennessee area right now, but we do have some thunderstorms uh, to our southwest and well off to our west. Let me see if I get another radar view in here. These down here in, in Arkansas are kind of moving northeast. That may be the storms that we may be 
dealing with uh, later on tonight near midnight. And there's some heavier, heavier ones over in northwestern Arkansas and moving through Missouri. Those will probably stay north of us and go into Illinois and Indiana, maybe western Kentucky as the uh, night uh, wears on. Uh, it looks like an area out there in western uh, Arkansas near Fort Smith. That may come close to uh, going through the Missouri boot hill a little later on tonight. Uh, that's the latest uh, thoughts on that, but that's the uh, radar all across the area there. And uh, the rain south of Jackson or east of Jackson now looks like it's about to fizzle out. So it's probably real light rain in, in that area over toward Clifton and the Tennessee River. But those are the storms that are a little bit more noticeable over in northwestern Arkansas and portions of western Missouri. Uh, I have some friends that uh, went down to the uh, uh, Mississippi Gulf Coast and it looks like it's okay down there. They should have good weather. Took a, a business trip down there and it looks like it's okay down there. It might be stormy down around Jackson, Mississippi and on into Louisiana, those storms will probably be moving north and then northeast as the night wears on. But then again, that far away, they may sort of fizzle out a little bit once it gets dark time. We'll have to wait and see. But right now, the best chances for thunderstorms, if we don't get any tonight near midnight, will likely be toward mid-morning, tomorrow morning, till sunset tomorrow night, basically. Alright, uh, let's look at the uh, satellite picture for the past uh, 12 hours nationwide. Now you see the clouds uh, uh, to our west are moving through uh, in the plain states as they move east. Out there in Texas as more storms are formed down there. And uh, not too bad down in Florida except around Miami maybe. Might be a little cloudy down in that area. And there you see where the clouds are and where the clear skies are uh, across the entire country uh, this evening. Alright, let's look at the current surface map according to the weather channel. And uh, it shows, let me uh, get that where I can bring it up a little closer. It shows uh, cold front uh, literally going down through Nashville, swinging around to Memphis, and then becoming a warm front <laughs> to a low in southwest Missouri. How about that? It is a weird shaped front in that, in that respect. <clears throat> I still have some sinus problems. I hope you can uh, overlook my little let up on my force some. <clears throat> As you can see, there's a uh, low pressure over Savannah, Georgia, creating some scattered rain showers down in that, over in that part of the country. And uh, some scattered thunderstorms and showers in Oklahoma, of course, and some in Texas, as we were just looking at, and some way up in the northeast. The snow has ended along the Great Lakes, <laughs> it looks like, and some rain uh, in northern portions of the Plain States there. And out west is not too bad for the current surface map. All right, let's look at tomorrow's uh, forecast maps according to the Weather Channel. Uh, Saturday morning, tomorrow morning, it looks like uh, low pressure is going to be over uh, Arkansas, Little Rock area. Looks like we're going to have some uh, possible steady to moderate rainfall here in West Tennessee and parts of Middle Tennessee uh, tomorrow morning and on down into parts of Alabama Mississippi. The greatest chance again is roughly between 10 a.m. to about 7 or 8 p.m. tomorrow night as of right now. And the rain extends on down uh, to Texas and Louisiana as you can see. There you see the various highs and lows and where they are and when the main threat of uh, 
rain is going to be uh, tomorrow morning right in our area here in West Tennessee, which is kind of expected. Uh, midday tomorrow, it moves on just a little bit. Rain lightens up a little bit here in West Tennessee. It looks like it gets a little heavy over toward Middle and East Tennessee by then. Now you see the low pressure over about Huntsville, Alabama. Two of them down in, down in Texas and another one off the coast of, uh, well, up in Maryland and way on up off, off the coast of Maine. All those strung together. There you see the heaviest rain again. It's probably going to be in Middle and East Tennessee and up in parts of Kentucky and a little bit over in Arkansas and some down in Georgia. There you see the locations. And that's going to be the main area of precipitation tomorrow midday. All of it's concentrated over mainly uh, in the southeastern portions of the country and uh, the southern sections of uh, the Midwest, if, you, if I may phrase it that way. And uh, tomorrow night, Saturday night, it let, starts letting it up. Matter of fact, the rain should be gone from Jackson about around 10 o'clock. The storms are probably in around 8 o'clock and the rain should be gone by around 10 o'clock and uh, may even come fair before around midnight or not long afterwards for a few hours. But for right now, for tomorrow evening, light rain here in West Tennessee, low pressure still in northern Mississippi and near Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, a lighter rain uh, over in, again in Middle and East Tennessee. Uh, and all, and there you see light, the rain lightens up in Kentucky. It's heaviest in West Virginia. And there you see where the darker green is. And there's a small area of strip in no Northern Plains states. And that's about it uh, nationwide uh, for tomorrow evening. All right, uh, now let's take a look at the uh, more detailed or specific uh, forecast for the Jackson uh, area and uh, most of uh, West Tennessee. Uh, I'll, turn, I'll turn the camera around and make the necessary adjustments so I can uh, read it to you. It uh, looks like, uh, I've already mentioned it several times, Looks like it's been mainly mostly cloudy for the rest of tonight. Maybe a few breaks in the clouds, but not very many. And again, there's a 40% chance of some scattered showers and thunderstorms uh, somewhere near 10 p.m. tonight, especially after midnight. Uh, the moon uh, sets tonight at 6.35 p.m. The sun sets at uh, 7.43 p.m. And on into Saturday, looks like uh, mostly cloudy skies, obviously. There's going to be an 80% chance of some showers and thunderstorms. Again, late morning to uh, early evening, actually. And the chance decreases to about 50% by near sunset, 7, 8 o'clock. And may actually completely end by around 10, 11 o'clock tomorrow night. Low temperature Saturday morning near 62, high about 72. We should have south winds at 10 to 20 miles per hour during the daytime and north at 10 to 20 miles per hour by Saturday night. Uh, the sun will be rising at 6 a.m. tomorrow morning, be setting at 7.44 p.m. tomorrow evening. The moon will be rising at 6.08 a.m. tomorrow morning and set at 7.35 p.m. Saturday night. By the way, the new moon phase will be complete tomorrow as well. On into Sunday and Monday, hey, it's going to clear up. All right. And uh, both days, uh, fair Sunday and mostly clear Monday. Low near 58, high of 76 on Sunday. North winds are 10 to 20. A uh, low of 53 and a high of 82 on Monday with south winds of 10 to 20 miles per hour. And after that, uh, Tuesday, uh, Wednesday, and Thursday, and Friday, <laughs> all those days, and, and Saturday of next week, weekend, and actually Sunday of next weekend, 
All those days are going to be very be cloudy. Each of those days with about a 40 to 50, maybe 60% chance of rain each of those days. And uh, most of them, uh, Tuesday's rains, the best chance would be Tuesday night. And Wednesday would be any time, day or night. Thursday is mainly going to be day, but uh, dissipating uh, Thursday night. Friday is going to be uh, most of the day till, and then sort of dissipating by Friday night of next week. Uh, next Saturday, May 11th, is going to be mainly during the daytime and evening. And Sunday, May 12th, there will be a small scattered 40% chance of rain till uh, uh, Sunday night week, May 12th, and then becoming fair. Alright, other than that, uh, temperatures, looks like it's going to be uh, Tuesday, low of 59, high of 85. Wednesday, low of 65, high of 83. With south winds, both of those days, right around 10 to 20 to 25 miles per hour. Uh, Thursday, low of 68, high of 77 for May 9th. Low of 62, high of 71 for Friday, May the 10th. Uh, winds will be out of the west both of those days at about 10 to 20 miles per hour. And by next Saturday and Sunday, uh, Saturday's low uh, 57, high of uh, 74, and low of 61, high of 73, uh, Sunday, May 12th. And how southwest winds are about 10 to 20 miles per hour both of those days. All right, all right that's kind of a quick summary of the next nine days forecast uh, for you this evening. I hope you get a chance to get out and enjoy this Friday night. And I hope you have a very nice Saturday, despite the threat of uh, showers and thunderstorms. But they should, like I said, decrease towards sunset tomorrow night and probably end before midnight. And then become in fair, of course, by Sunday. Alright, um, that's it for tonight. Uh, thank you for watching and viewing and uh, subscribing and leaving some very nice comments uh, on occasion. I appreciate that. And I hope to get a chance to talk to you again tomorrow night. And until then, good night and may God bless you.